Hey, good morning, guys. Touch coming at you. Just coming up to 10:15 on Monday, July the 7th, and we got about 74 degrees Fahrenheit in the garage with 75% uh, or 74% humidity. So uh, that's about 23, 24 degrees Celsius. Anyway, a few crappy days uh, in order up until Wednesday, I believe. It's supposed to rain. So we had a pretty good uh, rainstorm last night. Lots of thunder and lightning and heavy rain. So good to see that the tarp's still uh, on the car. Anyway, we'll uh, be back on the body tub this morning. Feel a little bit less guilty about being inside working on uh, the car as opposed to out enjoying the sun. Uh, so that's a good thing. But anyway, we'll uh, continue on working on doing the undercoating or reapplying the undercoating on the wheel wells on the passenger side of the car. So we've got them taped off. We'll just get them sanded down with about 220 grit. Give that uh, undercoating or uh, bed liner a little bit of a tooth to stick to. And uh, that'll be my first project of the day. And we'll most likely move on to doing some more uh, sanding, wet sanding and buffing. I think we'll do this uh, sail panel here and we'll probably continue on working on this panel here and get that out of the way. So that's it for now. We'll uh, give you some updates along the way. Talk to you later. Hey guys, quick update for you. Just uh, coming up to 10 past 1 and we've got the passenger side uh, truck bed liner done in the inner fenders. So that's out of the way. That's looking good. Nice and clean. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, start doing some sanding on this, uh, you know, call it a sail panel or whatever. Um, and we're going to finish up sanding this area here and down to the bottom. So we'll go from that body line on the sill all the way up and across the other side. You can see some, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but there's some dirt nibs in there that we're going to try to get out. Side maybe. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see. Anyway, it's not too bad. There is some dirt in it. And we'll continue sanding down to there. So we got the um, sandpaper just uh, soaking in here in the bucket. Once that's ready to go, we'll start sanding again. All right, guys, I'm talking a bit. Me again. So I think what the first thing I'm going to do is going to try to get this ugly uh, run out or the sag along the back here out first. I'm going to add a little masking tape to the top edge, get a little masking tape down to the bottom just so I don't sand through the edge. And we'll see if we can get that run a little bit better. It's not really going to be visible with the, uh, you know, the trunk lids on the car, but uh, it'll bother me if I leave it. So we'll, uh, we'll try to get that a little bit better. All right, guys. Hey, guys. Tosh coming back at you with a quick update. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, we're making some headway. Um, so that rear panel is now uh, cut and buffed along the edge down here to the uh, B post. It looks not bad. This panel is done as well. Not sure if you can see that really well, but it's got a good shine to it. So uh, happy with that. Let me just walk around to the other side of the car. So I think that looks pretty good. Still a few little uh, marks in the clear coat, but uh, nothing too bad. I think I've decided not to uh, not to touch this panel. It does. It is a little bit orange peely, but uh, there's a lot of stuff that happens on this panel. There's uh, a nameplate that goes here. There's a uh, a fuse box, there's a voltage regulator, there's wiring harnesses coming through, so uh, I think I may just leave that. I don't think it's going to bother me. It is the engine bay, so uh, I think that might just have to have to do. Um, I did do the B-post here as well, and as you recall yesterday I worked on that run, so it's looking pretty good. I'll have to wait and see when it's out in the sun to see if I can pick that up. I may have to do a bit more sanding on it, but uh, it's looking pretty good for now. And we did this panel back here. And that's looking pretty good. If you recall, I was working on that run and I have a little bit of a boo-boo to report. I did sand through a little bit trying to get that run out. 
you can see a little dark spot here so it's nothing critical I mean it's not even in really in a visual spot I did get that run down significantly so it looks much better we'll just have to do a little touch up on this uh, on this mark here looks like it's actually down to just the primer so uh, we'll just put a little bit of color and maybe a little spot of clear on there and we should be good to go so that's about it for now guys I think what we'll do now is we'll do the uh, rear of the car so we'll do this rear uh, rear valence and that'll probably be it for the uh, wet sanding on the body tub and I'll start actually moving some uh, maybe some components onto the tub like the gas tank I can probably put in there I'm not going to go too uh, wild and crazy until I get this body back on the frame there's still a few things I want to do on the uh, on the frame before I uh, throw the body back on I want to try to work on the exhaust a little bit I've got an alternator conversion to put on and I uh, just basically want to go through and check every fastener on the car that uh, you know that's probably three years ago that I put some of that stuff back on there so I just want to go back through check all the torque values make sure all the cotter pins are in um, that kind of thing I also might want to try to change the um, the front pinion seal on the transmission going back through some old photos it looks like that had a pretty significant leak uh, when I purchased it from the previous owner so it'd probably be a good time to uh, change that out now before the body's on top of it so still got a little bit of work to do on the uh, on the chassis, but uh, as far as the body is concerned, it's uh, it's looking pretty good and coming along nicely. Anyway, we'll uh, get to buffing out that uh, rear valence and we'll come back in a bit. Hey guys, quick update for you. Just coming up to uh, 5:30, and uh, I'm pretty sore actually. I woke up this morning and I was pretty sore and stiff. I think from all the sanding and polishing yesterday and today, I can definitely feel it. So lots of muscles getting used that normally don't get used. Anyway, the uh, rear of the car is now done, and it looks pretty good. Uh, it's probably the worst panel on the car. There's a few issues with it. I got a little bit of a run here still that I have to contend with um, that I'll fix at some later point in time. There's a little bit of dirt under the clear. I know what I did there. I actually brushed that with my pant uh, or my short leg as I was going by, and there was a little whoop de doo in, uh, in here somewhere, but I think I got it out. I can, can't can really see it at the moment, but I'm sure some things will show once I get it out in the sun. And uh, there's a little hair. You probably can't see that. Let me see if I'll move this. There's a little hair right there, which really kind of sucks. Why couldn't that be like on the underside of that panel? Anyway, um, again, I'm not too worried about it, but it just, uh, you know, just a little annoyance. Other than that, though, it looks pretty good, pretty shiny, came out not bad. So that's pretty much it for most of the panels. I think what I'm going to do is uh, we'll do the sills, and that should be it. It's looking pretty good now. That part turned out well. This part turned out well. And the valence as well. So I think just the, um, just the sills. And then that'll be it for now until we get it out in the sun. Like I said, I'm sure once it's in the sun, I'll end up seeing a whole bunch more stuff. But uh, I'm getting to be a little too anal about this. Anyway, uh, that's it for now, guys. We'll probably take a little bit of a break and then get out here tonight and finish off those sills. And then that'll be it for buffing and uh, or sanding and buffing of the body tub. All right, guys. Talk to you in a bit. I thought I'd do a little different project tonight. Uh, get get uh, off of sanding the body for a little bit. So these are um, the covers for the inner sills. Uh, so they basically go like this, and that sort of covers that edge on the uh, inner sill. So we're going to try to polish these up a little bit. We've got some Meguiar's uh, aluminum polish, so we'll give that a shot. All right, guys. We'll come back well, in a bit. Definitely not perfect, but. They're 50 year old, so much better though. Just a little bit of polishing for about you know 10 minutes or so. Just hand polishing, not even with a machine. Thought about getting my little buffer out, but that'd probably just be overkill. Anyway, obviously much better than that. Yeah, I think those are usable. All right, I like simple and quick projects. So they're on the car, they're not screwed in yet. But they look good. So, should those be considered the first parts back on the car? Have I turned the corner? 
Yeah, not bad. Finishes up that uh, top nicely. All right, guys. Talk to you later. And we just brought the gas tank out just for fun. Set it in place. Looks good. I did that uh, gas tank quite a while ago in one of my other videos. Anyway, we got to find the... Uh, the filler hose, the sending unit, the overflow. I know where the overflow is, but I gotta sand that down and paint it. There's the original color. So that's the overflow that goes down through the floor. And so I got a little collection of pieces over here that I need to paint. So maybe we'll be able to find that stuff tomorrow. It's in a bin somewhere. The only problem is I have about 40 bins. All right, talk to you later, guys.